two, three, four, five, six. Hi, welcome to the topic of simultaneous equations. Here we have a clone question based on the year 2006. Clone 2006 SPM paper 2 section A number 1. You are asked to solve the simultaneous equations 2n squared plus mn plus equals to 3 and m minus 3n equals to 1. This is a non-linear equation. This is a linear equation. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. This question is worth five marks. Now, if you are asked to give your answer correct to three decimal places, it means that the resulting quadratic equation cannot be factorized. So, you have to use the quadratic formula, this one. The quadratic formula. Okay. The solution now. Given m minus 3n equals to 1. From here we get, we move the negative 3n to the right. So we get m equals to 3n plus 1. Let this be equation 1. Now it's always better to let the equation 1 be like this because it is very much easier for your working. Okay, right. Now let the next equation, the non-linear equation, be equation 2. 2n two squared plus mn equals to 3. Let it be equation 2. Now, we substitute m equals to 3n plus 1. This one, into equation 2, into this equation. So, this 3n plus 1 goes into the m here. So, that's what we get here. 2n squared plus bracket 3n plus 1 times n equals to 3. Now we expand, we get 2n squared plus 3n squared plus n equals to 3. So we get 5n squared plus n minus 3 when you bring the 3 to the left equal to 0. Now we are going to apply the quadratic formula. Let a equals to 5, b equals to 1, and c equals to negative 3. Now, applying the quadratic formula, this is the quadratic formula. Okay, n equals to negative b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, n is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 plus minus square root negative 1 squared minus 4ac. Minus 4 times 5 times negative 3. Now, over 2 times 5. Now, when simplified, when this is simplified, you get this. Negative 1 plus minus square root, 61 over 10. And what is the square root of 61? 7.810 from your calculator. So now, this, the n value is equal to negative 1 plus 7.810. 810 over 10 or negative 1 minus 7.810 over 10 which is equal to 0 0.681 from here or negative 0 0.881 from here. So when n equals to 0 0.681 we substitute n in equation 1. M equals to 3n plus 1. So, M is equal to 3 times 0 0.681 plus 1 which gives you 3.043. Now, we take the other value of N. Negative 0 0.881. Okay, when N equals to negative 0 0.881, we substitute again into equation 1. So, M is equal to 3 times negative 0 0.881 plus 1. Simplified, we get m is equal to negative 1.643. Therefore, the solutions are m equals to 
0.43, n is equal to 0.681. When m equals to negative 1.643, n is equals to negative 0.881. Correct to three decimal places. As simple as that. Thank you.